Hello my beautiful badges, Messi Coda back again with another asset store review. This time it is the beautiful Planets pack from Forge3D. It's actually a Ukrainian asset store publisher and Forge3D is working with local charities in Ukraine so that all profits from any of the sales from Forge3D assets go to those charities and helping the people of Ukraine that are currently suffering in this Russian invasion that's going on over in Ukraine. So pop over to Unity Asset Store because this is on a 50% discount. That's right, 50% sale over on the Unity Asset Store at the moment. And there still is the big Ukraine Mega Bundle also where you can help to support and get yourself a load of fantastic assets from the Asset Store donated by lots of amazing publishers. Sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all on one of these planets in a second. I'm inside Unity playing about with the Planets Pack from Forge 3D that's currently on 50% sale on the Unity Asset Store. I'm using the built-in version from Unity 2021, but this is also available when you are P. You get 38 ready-to-use planet prefabs, as you can see here, these marbles in space. And there's nine different procedural types. You've got these beautiful suns, see over here? We've got the suns with their animated sun corona on there. You've got moons, terrestrials, oceanics, lava, ice, gas. You've got, if you look very closely, you can see thunderstorms going on. So there's sandstorms and thunderstorms, animated clouds, uh, distortion flow maps. We've got city lights on the terrestrials. If I fly around using my magical flag cam to try and find you some. Here we go, look. You got the lights going on in the cities on these planets at night time as you can see there which is fantastic and if you've got amplify well you can just load up these shaders in amplify shader and custom uh, customize them muck about as much as you want but do not worry because if you don't have amplify you can still tweak and play about with these because they're exposed in the materials I pause it for a second and have a look over here where's our camera camera um, F over there. This is, a, this is a nice lava planet. If I have a look at this lava one, what I tend to do is I'll just copy the prefab and then start playing about. So copy the material, make a copy of the material, and then I copy the prefab, and then you can just start mucking about. So to, to basically experiment, I just go and play and tweak about these sliders. So I go, wee! Oh, that looks nice. Or, ooh, that looks nice. Or, oh, wow, that looks nice. Pretty much, that's that's my life. That's what I do. Well, I'd go. You know what? I want it to be completely different. And it's a look at that. Oh, suddenly the lava takes on a more alien look to it. But do not worry, because to say. There's loads. If we go here to the moon, right around there, here's a moon, and if I, you know, don't want to play about with lava, you can play about with the moon as well. So we can tweak these. See that? Um, we can go and change the specular map that you've got here and the and the detail. We can muck about with all of the different sliders to our heart's content. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing, but literally that's how I play about with it. Now these are planets and moons to be used in the background in your scene. So if you're on a planet looking up, then you've got these in space. Or if you're flying around space, then these are in the distance. They're not for flying into and getting close up on. If you have got amplifiers as I mentioned, you can just click open in shader and load it up and tweak about with it. Of course, obviously, that's exactly how this works and got a clue i know it's been years and i'm still haven't got a clue how to use amplify and uh, don't even get me started on the built-in shader graph now obviously you can't have planets without a gas planet with rings now the one thing is i'm going to say you don't have asteroids as you're flying into these rings they are just a cosmetic ring but you can tweak about your ring <laughs> tweak about your ring tweak about your ring material if you want to so if we go over here to the gas, you can see that the ring separate. We can change its detail. We can change its tint. We can even do its size as well if we want to. And it's offset, much like the atmosphere. We can change the offset of the atmosphere uh, like that if we want to. Ooh, 
Ooh, or, or not. So it depends on how you're tweaking it and playing about. There's loads of presets already in this pack. There's 38 already put in. And as I mentioned, if you are going to play about them, just make a copy of the material and experiment. And that's what I would suggest. Just do that. Just pop in and experiment. As you get close, you can see, look at that. Oh, it looks beautiful. It really does. I love how they're animating slowly. It's not over the top. It's not crazy. But in the same token, it's um, really, you know, it makes it feel real. Because if you're looking up at the sky and you're just seeing the surface slowly move. So we can also, if I go on this uh, planet here, this gas planet, then I can play about. Um, where's my oh UV distortion? There we go. Oh look at that. Go back into play mode. Look at that. Suddenly, suddenly it's all a bit different. And if I fly close to the what was going to say, fly close to the sun, you can see there. Look, there's a distorting in there. Oh, it'd be nice if we had little explosions of lava popping off the planets. That would be cool. But that's what, you know, that's what we've got in the sun. We've got, like, you know, I'd copy the bit from the sun. Tone it down. Take the animated corona from the sun. Tone it down. Put it on the lava. You want lava just a little popping off there. There's, he's got loads of other space assets from Forge 3D. So you've got um, cruisers, destroyers, interceptors, drones. It's got force field effects. Basically, if you're making a space game, pop over to Forge 3D over on the Unity Asset Store and check them out. Let's have a look, actually, at the Asset Store page to show you what I'm talking about. There we go. So normally $45, 50% off, down to $22.50. And if you weren't aware of Forge 3D, yes, they are in Ukraine. So um, supporting the victims of the war in Ukraine um, profits from sales going to, from that from unity putting through um, their side of sales to support ukraine um, which is a great gesture from unity there's over here if we pop over to their page we can see all of the other assets that they've got so don't forget the amazing sci-fi effects pack as well we have these turrets they've got them on them the cool effects and, and, and special effects from the weapons They've got this beautiful 2D sci-fi platformer, which I love. I'm actually going to make show you some videos of me playing, making a silly game of them. And this Wasp inter Interceptor, I'm going to call it. I'm not going to call it what it says there. It, I'm going to call it a Wasp Interceptor. Uh, these beautiful battleships, damage effects, uh, force field effects, you name it. He's got it. And also a free gift, a free camera tool as well. What more could you ask for? But at the moment, if you are picking up the planets, you are going to get them on a 50% discount so that's 20 dollars 22 dollars 50 cents the 50 percent discount currently on the for the planets from forge 3d and when you are buying assets from forge 3d you are going towards helping uh, a very good charity indeed for the victims and the people uh, need support in ukraine if you're making a space pack and you want planets in the background well that's a no-brainer if you're on the desktop then get this asset not ideal for mobile um, at the moment so hopefully with more updates as they go on maybe might be more tweaked towards mobile but at the moment desktop planets in the background in your game don't land on them you've got oceanic you've got terrestrial you've got gas you've got lava love the lava you've got moon you've got the sun you could which with these presets what's this the sun near krypton is that why it's green? I've got no idea. It looks beautiful. You've got a blue, spooky plasma, blue plasma sun. Ah, and I love how you've got. <laughs> There's a storm going on that planet over there. Ah, look at it. You've got the clouds. Just having this view here, where you can see them all moving slowly in the background. That looks fantastic. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. And even here, if I just leave the camera on. You can just see everything slowly moving, slowly, ever so slowly. It just makes it feel like it's all alive. So if you do like these videos and you want to fly with me to an alien planet, then click on that big juicy red lava button down below. Tell all of your friends, random people on the street, that the Mesicoda 
is going to well explore strange new worlds seek out new life and new civilizations and to click that button where no one has clicked before so if you do like it click it till next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if i've got a new video coming out till next time